Today, I want to show you one of the lamest possible ways to get some 1v1, possibly 1v1 PvP, and that is invading a player's dungeons. And this is such a stupid and lame and just really annoying way to do it. But we're going to use the Invisibility Shrine here at the Bridgewatch Portal, and we're going to go into the Black Zone. While Invisible, I'm using a complete trash set where I have like 4.1 active and a mule. No one can see me. And what we're going to do to, to achieve this 1v1 is we're just going to ride around a little bit near the entrance, not too far. And we're going to look for a green dungeon. And we're going to just set on it while invisible. And wait for someone to zone into it. Because there will always be someone looking to do a solo dungeon. And uh, because we're invisible, they can't see us. Which will allow us to invade the dungeon once they've entered it. Here's a dungeon right now. Oh, it just disappeared. So someone went in there. Someone was in there and it's been 90 seconds and it disappeared. So we just got to find another one of those. Now that dungeon will respawn in that spot later on. Here's a dungeon. So all we're going to do is we're invisible for the next one minute. And we're just going to sit here and wait for someone to zone into this. Now, if someone is invisible and they click on this, they will become uninvisible. There is an alternative to do this, though. If you can let someone see you, like this guy here. What's he got? Okay, he's a... Yeah, see, here he goes. Now, this is a fight that we can do. Uh, he is a carving sword. And uh, this guy saw me go in. So, these two might invade. This is going to turn into like a 1v1v1v1. V1 V1. And here we go. So, I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, well, it was my mistake to attack him. Uh, see, yeah, here we go. I'm going to hit that reflect, hit this. And... <laughs> oh, are they in the same guild? Yes, they're in the same guild. So, I'm super dead here. But, uh, <laughs> uh, but you get the point, right? It's a really, really lame way to PvP. So, obviously, the guild guy, he was like, hey, dude. Like, they're in Discord together, right? And he's like, hey, dude, someone just invaded your dungeon. And I made the mistake of, of attacking him, which uh, lowers my shield. <laughs> but you, you get the point. It's really, really, really lame to do this. Okay, but uh, I just want to get rid of this gear anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, but let's try it again. By the way, my set here, it's only worth 25,000 silver, so it's literally junk. It's absolute garbage. And I'm going out of this exit because it's the one that's uh, the most populated. So we're just going to do this again, grab the Invis Shrine, and then hop back near another dungeon near the entrance and uh, try to find a nice little victim. <laughs> now, if I didn't let anyone see me go in, and for all I know, they could have been, you know, doing a little duo action themselves, you know? Since they were in the same guild, maybe they were going to duo that dungeon, I don't know. Also, uh, apologies for the lag, I am currently down re-downloading New World because it's free to play a weekend on a different Steam account. So I can make a few videos on that, maybe do some trolling, we'll see. Here we are, we have our dungeon. You can see it's super close to the entrance, so I can already hear someone maybe approaching it. Maybe they want to do the solo dungeon. If you do this during prime time, you will get way more candidates, but let's see what this guy is. He is a... Claymore user, and he's... Oh, what? He's checking that. Now, <laughs> what I could do is bait him. I could go into this dungeon and uh, <laughs> see... It. Oh, what, what's he doing? He's attacking that. See, that's kind of weird behavior. Sometimes people run hacks and they can see me that I'm invisible near them. Oh, he's going in the dungeon, so let's go. And uh, <laughs> it's time to... Da -da 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 -duel. And uh, this time I'm not going to lower my shield until I get my damn cooldowns. Oh, I loaded before him. Look at that. That's actually to my advantage. I can start uh, stacking curses on him immediately. There's one stack of curses. Two. Go ahead and attack me, bro. Three. Get that curse on him. Get that fourth one on him. I'm going to go ahead and hit the reflect here. Hit this. And uh, <laughs> let's just try to kill him, maybe. And, oh no, I'm super dead. <laughs> uh, but you get the point. Maybe use a build that uh, is a little bit better at PvP. I'm lagging super hard right now, so it's really hard. For me to, but like, let's let's say, let's pretend I killed the guy, right? You know, I had, oh man, I am lagging so bad. I had every advantage there in that fight. And let's look at his stats, okay? He clearly had a 300 item power advantage. He's got a lot of spec in that claimer, so he's hitting super, super hard. But if this guy had no spec, I think I could have made, well, he's got a cleric rope, so he kind of counters my build anyway. And uh, he also has the, well, he had the wrong skill. He had stone skin, actually. Interesting. But still, uh, <laughs> we can keep trying this. It's like, imagine if we killed that guy. How much money would we have gotten if we just killed this dude? We would have gotten 11k from the horse. You know, his, uh, his armor, 14k, 34k there. Just the weapon pays for our set. And it's fun, it's funny, it's interesting. And uh, again, I can just go here and then go... Where is it at? Go to select loadout, go to lost equipment, search. 
Look at that, 24k, buy and equip, 24k, I'm back in action once again, ready to go. Well, I managed to secure a chest uh, for 30,000 there, and uh, not much else. So, uh, I'm actually close to town, I can go get the, uh, the buff shrine, get the shield, and uh, <laughs> go back invisible and try to find another dungeon. Oh, is he gonna go in the dungeon? Sometimes you can just follow people around while invisible, see what they're doing. Uh, like this Chrono19 guy, uh, we can see if he's like fame farming mobs. He's kind of acting really sus though. He is, he's shooting that mob up there. Oh, he's dismounted. So we can actually chase this guy. Uh, I'm going to switch to this. I'm going to touch the branch and, uh, well, no, maybe not. He, he looted something off the ground there. What the hell? And, uh, what, what I can do is if I'm uninvisible, I can purposely get my mount killed by mobs. So I'm going to maybe do that. Let's... He's still too close. I want to do it outside of his screen. Um, you know, maybe just, uh, touch this. Oops. Uh-huh, lol, XD. Um, I didn't actually channel it, though, so, uh, let's see what he's doing. He's still walking around. Is he gonna channel that? Yeah, he's, he's going in there. But, um, there's a few ways we can play this, okay? <laughs> Why is he shooting the elite mobs up there? But, um, yeah, he got dismounted. We could've took advantage of that. So, uh, one thing I could do is, uh, once I'm unshielded, I can just attract a bunch of mobs, and because I have a mule with only 238 HP, it's really easy to dismount, which will immediately give me my cooldowns. So, I just have to have a regular monster dismount me next to the guy, and then I can immediately start casting upon him, which is really great for us, and which I think we could have maybe took him, even though he's a kite build, and we're a turret build. But still, regardless, we are cursed staff, and we are high spec. So uh, I've been camping this little dungeon up here and no one's really going to it. So I might need to try a more popular area. And uh, yeah, let's try to find some fights. Like this dungeon is super, super close to town. It is literally just right north. Like if someone's going to this town and they're looking for maybe some adventures, they'll be like, oh, a dungeon, and they'll jump right in. So I'm going to sit here while invisible. And when my invisibility runs out, I'll just run back to town, reapply the invisibility and chill until this gets used. Now, I can also do the opposite, where I sit here where people can see me, and then let them see me enter the dungeon like I'm a new player, as I appear to be. And as soon as I enter the dungeon, because I'm in there first, I can immediately st stack up my curses, and then hit reflect when they blow their cooldowns, hopefully shield the remaining damage with Cleric Robe, and maybe eke out a win, maybe, maybe not. Curse Staff is deceptively, deceptively powerful. So, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna sit here... Where people can see me, and when I see a name run by, I'm just going to go in the dungeon like I'm just some idiot newbie. And hopefully they'll follow me in. Here we go. I'm going in the dungeon. Oh, he's dismounting. I'm going in the dungeon, Mr. Fogan. He sees me. He, he heard me enter the dungeon. Okay. But also, I do need to check this dungeon to make sure that it's not already occupied, because that can be a thing too. So what I'm going to do is, I am so lagging right now. I'm going to run up here and make sure there's a mob, and there is. Cool. And, uh, yeah. Hopefully that guy follows me in and I can immediately start cursing him. Let's see what happens. <laughs> uh, now, also, if I choose to leave the dungeon, I need to wait 40 seconds so I can gain a shield. Otherwise, they can attack me, my skills will be on cooldown, and I'll just end up dying and giving away my 27,000 worth of crap. <laughs> oh, boy. Let's see if he followed me. And he was kind of far away, but he did dismount. So, you know, if he was mounted, I would have let him get a little bit closer so he could see me. But, hmm, doesn't, uh, doesn't look like he followed me in or he's got a really laggy computer. So I'll have to try again. I won't be able to leave the dungeon for about 10 more seconds, though. But there's always a chance within the 90 seconds, because it's so close to town, that someone could just happen to wander into the dungeon and here I am laying in wait. Alternatively, you can try to do the same thing where you run deeper into the dungeon, near a buff shrine, and then as soon as you see a red name, you run backwards with the buff and, you know, get them that way. But it doesn't look, look like this one's happening. So, you know, sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. You could also try to be a hero. And, uh, like, we got three gankers here. Here comes a fourth. They're all in the same guild. Same alliance. And uh, they're going to try to kill this Claymore guy here. And um, they might succeed, they might not. Um... Uh, Looks like he's, yeah, he's, I don't know if he's baiting them or what, but you can kind of dismount a little bit farther away and maybe try to get a tag in so you can get the kill and then rat the loot. Though it is four gankers, and this guy is, he's very confident, you know, against four dudes. Looks like they're they're having second thoughts there, but, um, yeah, let's see what's going on. Anyway, uh, I'm invisible, so they have no idea I'm here unless they're hacking, but 
Uh, I'm gonna go find another dungeon to, to try to, you know, jump into and uh, cause some trouble. So let's let's go do that. Hopefully this guild doesn't spot me because they'll 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 just all zone in at once and there's nothing I can do in my crappy gear. But uh, you can see, oh, they're they're actually ganking someone else now. This is this is what guilds do in the black zone all day. They just uh, and this guy's geared. This cot this cotton dude. I've inspected him earlier, and he is a juicy boy. Look at that. Oh, he zoned out. He got away. He got away from the gankers. And uh, my invisibility is actually about to run out. So what I have to do now is. Well, I can use a Wisp to gain a shield, or I can just teleport back home. Uh, it, there's many different options for me, so I'm not too worried. But right now, I can also just try to find someone out in the open world and just run at them and hope for the best. But uh, I like the dungeon thing. This video is mostly about the dungeon thing. You know, like I said, I can sit here, wait for a guy to see me, and uh, jump in. So I'm going to go ahead and try that again. Well, it seems like this is a completely dead part of the map. No one is coming up here at all. So I'm going to try to roam around a bit and uh, see if someone follows me, and as soon as they do, I will run to that dungeon, and uh, there we go, there's a guy, I'm going to run up here, inspect him real quick, he's a little, I can't, I can't beat that build, he already ran out of my range anyway, he was uninterested in me, so let's go, uh, let's just roam around a bit, and as soon as someone spots me, they might start running toward, that guy's dismounted, let's see if he'll dismount, oh, he went into something, he must have went into a mist, he just vanished, Unless he's invisible. If he's invisible, he could, like, maybe he's trying to set up a gank or something, right? Uh, I think he would have appeared by now. Oh, whatever. Um, <laughs> there's a mist. I don't need to go to the mist, though. Let's see. Someone died on this road a bit ago. Maybe I can get into some trouble. Some trouble on the road. Oh, yeah, that gank group is roaming around. That's that's why other people are dying. Well, uh, I'm just going to go back to town and do the invisibility thing again. Whatever. By the way, just a tip when you do this, don't sit on your- don't do this. If you dismount, your donkey, your mule, is visible. You have to be riding it to share your invisibility with it, okay? So make sure that you stay mounted whenever someone is- when you're doing this dungeon camping thing. Also, I don't remember if I mentioned this, but you go uninvisible when you channel to enter the dungeon. So, even though you can't see or hear anyone right now, you will hear them channeling to open this dungeon. So just sit tight and be patient. Oh man, this one's real close. Now what you can kind of do too, is if you see two dungeons near each other, you can kind of stand in between them in a way. Like, I can see a nameplate, and I can hear if someone channels that dungeon. Right, where was that other dungeon? It was super close, I remember. It was really, really close. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm in range to hear and see a nameplate whenever someone zones into that. Sort of. I don't want to go too far. But, just kind of scope the area out, and uh... The only problem with roaming like this is that you can't inspect them before they enter the dungeon. So, like, there, there's the other dungeon. Okay, so we just want to sit in between these two dungeons. So there's top left and bottom right. There we go. And we just chill. Two dungeons. We just need to either wait for nameplates or hear the noise. But like I said, you can't inspect them. Like, normally, if you're quick, you can hear them channeling the dungeon and you inspect them and you can know if you can win the fight or not or if it's even worth going into the dungeon to fight over. Like... If I see someone enter a dungeon with this gear, it's not worth it. It's just totally not. So, I'm going to sit here now and uh, hopefully someone comes out. Maybe they'll do a dungeon, maybe not. We shall see. <laughs> oh, here we go. A clothy went in. I didn't get to inspect him though, but he is definitely in here. I'm going to try to load in before him and let's see if I can get those curse stacks rolling. Oh, there he is. He's a try. He's a... What is that? I don't want to click on him and, and activate my auto attack, but... Here we go, and one stack, and root them, and a two stack, and I'm gonna hit that reflect button right now, get that three stack on there, get my, uh, let's see, let's go ahead and activate our shield, he activated his shield for the first curse stack, I've gotta start kiting him here, and he's activated his boots, and it looks like I'm gonna, I'm totally dead from this, there's his gear, yeah, I'm dead, <laughs> but, <laughs> I have not been able to win today <laughs> Oh, uh, we sat there for at least three to four minutes. Okay, what did he have? He clearly won because he had the cleric robe. Um, you can see here, cleric robe. He also had hunter hood, but that wouldn't matter too much. He also had. He has the you know same kind of thing going on as I do. But if we would have won, this this weapon is worth fifty six thousand double our kit. You can see it's not a very high value kill, but it's still kind of fun, right? Oh, possible candidate. Here we go. What's he got? He's, uh, he's got the uh, freaking cleric robe, man. Freaking cleric robes. Every fight is cleric robe. I counter. But whatever. He's also a healer, so it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be real tough. 
And uh, we don't have shields, so auto attack, go! <laughs> oh, is he just... He, oh yeah, he's auto attacking back. Alright, it's on. And uh, I'm standing in that, don't want to stand in that. Can't really reflect his stuff. He's... Oh, he's got the... He's he's a great nature, he's got his poison potion out. I'm gonna go ahead and hit reflect here. Get some more cur... Oh, he used it wrong, but he is... Actually, no, he's not, he's not using it wrong. Get that. <laughs> oh, I don't, I'm gonna run out of mana, dude. <laughs> Go ahead and shield up. <laughs> it's, a t it's a close one. His... Oh, I gotta not auto-attack into that. <laughs> there we go. I I'm out of mana. <laughs> I am out of mana. I can't curse I can't curse him anymore. I've just gotta run away from him. <laughs> Keep those four stacks. There you go. Keep those four stacks. Yep, I'm not gonna hit you. Explode? Explode? Yes, we did it. Okay, we killed a 4-1. <laughs> Uh, pretty tough fight. <laughs> we did it! Yay! <laughs> okay, now we oh, we we gotta wait two minutes. That's because we're an outlaw. Because we're a bad guy. <laughs> Get this little tier five skinny knife though. <laughs> oh man! Oh whoa whoa whoa! <laughs> There's another guy! What the heck, bro? I don't have any mana. <laughs> Hit that reflect. He purged it. I don't have any mana for this. <laughs> oh, I'm so dead. What do you? What is he? Was <laughs> there, there just another guy? <laughs> oh man, I've never had that happen before. <laughs> wild. That's wild. Uh, double sword user. Look at him. little six one sword user. <laughs> he freaking purged me. Oh. <laughs> uh. It's too good. Now this would have been a good kill. Look at this weapon, 100k. Yeah. Anyway, well, he got both our kits. So <laughs> there you go. Um, that's how to be super lame and maybe get some one v ones, even though half of them weren't one v ones. Just an interesting way to play. I'm sure there's a better build than what I showcased for this specific PvP activity. Like if I was a bow user with guardian boots, hunter hood. You get the idea. I think a bow would have been better in these both of these situations. But yeah, uh, that's it. That's the video. If you want to have a fun, stupid, lame way to maybe possibly 1v1 or gank people, then abuse the invisibility shrines and get out there and go murder some people. <laughs> uh, that guy reacted quick, too. He just immediately jumped into combat. Uh, anyway, that's the video. I'm Soul Benji. Thanks for watching. As always, be a bro and stay swole. <laughs> Uh, what was his IP difference? Uh, if I had mana, would I have had a chance? I don't think so. 1333 versus 924. Oh, man. Uh, videos every day. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss tomorrow's video. Uh, leave a like. I read every comment. On the right side of your screen is a video you should absolutely click. Uh, Handpicked by Google just for you. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the, the tomorrow's video. I think I've already said that. And become a channel member. Five bucks a month. Gives you access to private, more personal videos. There's a Discord link in the description. Go ahead and join it. We need people to play with. There's only like 30 of us, believe it or not. I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Take care.